I want to add Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to this build, and I want it to be controlled by a physical switch. So I'm thinking it can fit right here in front of the HDMI out, mini, whatever it is. It should look nice and inconspicuous right there. I'm going to use a four port nano USB hub. And it's going to control all three of these. Ideally, this Edimax N150 would work as the combo Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, but I've never been able to get the Bluetooth to work. Uh, if that did work, I could just use a two port nano hub, but oh well. I learned how to do this from a video I'll link in the description, but what's happening is this female USB port is getting supply power from the side of the board and the data plus and minus lines are running through these points here. They're also connected to these two points. So I'm going to sever the data plus and minus from here and then connect them from here to the hub. So that will be connected. And then I'll wire these up on the back. I'm not going to use magnet wires for uh, anything dealing with power because I'm not sure how well that can handle it. Thin gauge uh, stranded wire will be a better idea. And I'm going to grab five volts from here, run it on up to the right leg, and then the center leg is going to send it on back and over the top to the back. And you can see the perimeter here kind of steps down. So on this level, that's right where my port cover is going to sit. So there's a little gap going to be there already for my wire, but I'm going to take these teeth and kind of file them down just very carefully. It must have been like a breakaway part of the board or something. File that down very carefully to run the wire on over to the hub. Then I'll tear these down and put them somewhere, something like so. I plan on using captain tape and hot glue to tack these down. That's going to be a temporary uh, because I'm going to come back later on when everything is hooked up and just use clear epoxy to tack these down. And hopefully do that in a way where if I really want to, I can come back and remove the epoxy by clipping it or cutting it to work on these components if I wanted to in the future. I think, think that should work. I just tested it out and everything's fine. Not quite as pretty as I thought it was going to be. It's a little bit tricky to wire to these little tiny connections here. And I had to do it a couple times. I ended up bridging them, I had to clean them up and, and start over a couple times. Uh, the magnet wire really helps save a lot of space. And uh, these have little blue flashing lights on them, so I think that'll look kind of cool too in the back of the case. 
So that'll do it for now, for that part anyway. <laughs>